integers. In this lesson, we will study more about numbers. These are introduction to integers, integers in real life, representing integers on a number line, comparing and ordering integers, addition and subtraction of integers. Let us study about a new type of numbers called as integers. We have already studied about whole numbers and natural numbers. We know that zero along with the natural numbers are called as whole numbers. We also know that a number line starts from zero and the numbers increase as we move towards right. Do you know that a number line has both directions toward right and toward left also? We see this arrow on the line which signifies that the number line continues to the left of zero. Thus, a number line starts at zero and moves toward right with increasing numbers. Similarly, it moves towards left of zero. What could be the numbers on the left of zero on this number line? Yes, you are right. Negative numbers. Negative numbers are the numbers which are opposite to the numbers on the right of zero, called as positive numbers. When we combine all the positive numbers, 0, and all the negative numbers, together we call this set of numbers as integers. You can see here, there is a specific way of representing negative numbers, that is, by using minus signs. So, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, and so on are negative integers. Remember, 0 is neither positive nor negative, as 0 doesn't have any direction. It is the reference point on the number line. We see integers at many places in our real life. We see many opposites in our real life. For example, profit means plus 3000. Loss means minus 3000. Mr. Mohan deposits an amount of rupees 5000 to his account. This amount gets added to his account, that is, plus 5000. Mr. Mohan withdraws money from his account, so an amount of rupees 5000 reduces from his account, that is, minus 5000. We all have experienced passenger lifts. You must have noticed these kind of buttons inside a lift. We take ground floor 0 as our reference floor. As we go up, the number of floors increases. As we go down, the number of floors decreases. When we go further down than the ground floor, we see the negative numbers. This is quite similar to a vertical number line. You must have seen icebergs of different heights. Here, we see the tip of the first iceberg is at a height of 1 meter from the sea level. The tip of the second iceberg is at a height of 5 meters from the sea level. Now, how do we say the depth of the tip of this iceberg from the sea level? The depth is minus 1 meter. Here, we consider the sea level as 0, which is our reference level and the depth is measured in negative numbers. Representing integers on a number line. Draw a line with arrows at both ends. These arrows are important because it signifies that the positive integers continue infinitely toward right and similarly the negative integers continue infinitely towards left. Mark the middle of the line and write 0 over here. Now do the markings on the right of 0 in such a way that these are equidistant to each other. You can use a ruler to get clear equidistant markings. Write the positive integers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on towards the right of 0 and write the negative integers minus 1 minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, 
minus 5 and so on towards the left of 0. Remember that the value of integers increases as we move from left to right on a number line and the value of integers decreases as we move from right to left on a number line. Now let us study few examples. Example 1. Draw a number line and mark on it the integer which is 3 more than minus 1. Solution. Draw a number line. Mark minus 1. We are asked to mark an integer which is 3 more than minus 1. We know that the value of integers increases as we move towards right on a number line. So, we move 3 steps from minus 1 towards right. 1, 2 and 3. We reach at 2. Therefore, 3 more than minus 1 is 2. Example 2. Draw a number line and mark on it the integer which is 3 less than minus 7. Solution. Draw a number line. Mark minus 7. We are asked to mark the integer which is 3 less than minus 7. We know that the value of integers decreases as we move towards left on a number line. So, we move 3 steps towards left of minus 7. That is, minus 8, minus 9 and minus 10. Therefore, 3 less than minus 7 is minus 10. In math, we know that to compare any two numbers, we use the signs greater than, less than or equal to. To compare positive integers, for example, to compare the numbers 7 and 9, we would write it as 7 is less than 9. To compare negative numbers, for example, to compare the numbers minus 7 and minus 9, we would write it as minus 7 is greater than minus 9. Let us understand this more clearly using number line. In a number line, when we move towards right of 0, we get bigger numbers. For example, 2 is greater than 1, 3 is greater than 2 and so on. Similarly, when we move in the opposite direction from 3 towards left, we get smaller numbers. For example, 2 is smaller than 3, 1 is smaller than 2 and so on. We use the same concept for negative integers also. Here, when we move from minus 3 towards right, we get bigger numbers. For example, minus 2 is bigger than minus 3. Minus 1 is bigger than minus 2 and so on. Similarly, when we move towards left from 0, we get smaller numbers. For example, minus 1 is smaller than 0. Minus 2 is smaller than minus 1 and so on. Let us solve few examples to understand this better. Example 1. Put appropriate sign to compare the given integers minus 4 and minus 3. Since minus 4 lies on the left of minus 3 and we know that values of number is lesser as we move towards left on the number line, therefore minus 4 is smaller than minus 3. Example 2. Put appropriate sign to compare the integers minus 8 and 5. Since 5 lies on the right of minus 8 and we know that values of number is larger as we move towards right on the number line, therefore 5 is greater than minus 8.